All right, welcome back. We are on level seven of lesson 10. Uh, this is an assessment level, so I will read the directions, maybe look for some tips and tricks to help you out, and then we'll read through the rubric, and then after that, you are on your own, my friends. So let's get started. It says traffic control. You are helping design an app that can control the traffic lights in a construction zone. The app will control the lights to tell drivers whether to merge left or right in order to avoid construction. And the app will also control the color and brightness of the lights to make sure they're not blinding or distracting. The app has already been started for you, but the code needs to be finished. So uh, it says do this. Get the value from the color dropdown and store it in a variable. Get the value from the brightness slider and store it in a variable. And then three and four, you have the black triangle that's going to tell you more directions. So you, let's open that. I want to make sure we read everything. If the direction is left, set the left LEDs and turn off the right LEDs. Inside the first if statement, turn on the left side of the board to the appropriate color and intensity. Turn off the right side of the board. If the direction is right, set the right LEDs and turn off the left LEDs. Inside the second if statement, Turn on the right side of the board to the appropriate color and intensity. Turn off the left side of the board. All right. So those are all the instructions. You know how to do this. We've done this already. Okay. Um, and so that'll be my first tip is we've done this already. If you get to a spot where you're confused and you're struggling, go back and look at some of the things that we've already done. You've already done this. All right. Uh, second tip is make sure you read the comments. The comments tell you exactly what to do, exactly where in the code. All right. You do not need to mess with the design portion. Just stick with the coding portions. And let's look at the rubric. The rubric says no evidence. The app has not been changed. So if you don't touch anything at all, that's a no evidence. Obviously, you're going to do better than that. So we're going to close that. Limited evidence. The LEDs turn on, but they do not react to the values that the user entered. Variables are not used correctly in the program. All right, so that would get you a limited evidence. We're going to do better than that. Uh, convincing evidence. The app can turn on the LEDs, but one of the inputs, direction, color, or brightness, is not working correctly. <laughs> oh, the gram grammar mistakes code.org has. Always makes me laugh. All right, so this is this is this is a B. This is okay, but I think we can do better. All right, so let's look at we'll get, we'll get you the A. So extensive evidence: the app works as described, with variables used to get the values from the screen and to turn on the LEDs of the circuit playground in the correct direction. So if it works correctly, it does everything that we've asked you to do. A plus one hundred, good job. All right, so that we're gonna aim for that. Uh, with that, I'm going to hush. I'm going to let you guys work. I'm going to wish you good luck. Uh, I will see you on the next level. All right. Good luck.